Hey, what's up, Fighter Fightman64 here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we went into the bedroom dome to go to the first galaxy, Gusty Garden Galaxy, where we took out Major Burrow, took out a golden chump with the invisible star, and uh, we caught a bunny that was apparently had the star in his hand. And, last but not least, solved the puzzle on, uh, Gusty Garden, which I get very confused about. So in this episode, we are going to be tackling on the Daredevil combat for Gusty Garden Galaxy, and later, we'll be rescuing Luigi once again. Because as you can see, he is not there in the garage. And we're going to be tackling on Free Flame Galaxy. Which is filled with fire and ice. I think that kind of rhymes. But anyway, before we begin, if y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel if you are one of the people watching the video that's a non-subscriber. Because your love and support would be most appreciative, and we are less than 10 subs away from hitting 150 subs. So help us reach that goal today. But with that being said, let's just read this letter from Luigi. Blow, I gotta stop, but now I can't get back. This picture show where I am. Help me. Okay, so he's stuck on a tree somewhere. Looks like Honey Hive Galaxy, in my opinion. Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again, let me give you this picture so you won't forget where your brother Luigi is. Stop telling me how to how to view picture. I already know that already. Cause I'm actually not gonna save uh, Luigi yet. Cause as I promised, I'm gonna tackle on that Daredevil comet first, which I could have done last episode, but I decided to cut it off there. But anyway, the Daredevil Comet has arrived. But what could it be, though? It seems mysterious. Daredevil Comet in orbit! Because Major Burrow is back for revenge! This is our third Daredevil run! We did it to the Topman tribe. Boulder guy, now this guy. And once again, sit Im immediately to the boss fight. Where the bunny is being chased by Major Burrows. So anyway. So yeah. You pretty much gotta do the same thing. Except not get hit, of course. Nothing really much to be said here. But regardless, I don't think we should have too much of a problem. But that doesn't mean, uh... I'm guaranteed to beat it. Alright, so where is he coming from? Oh, jeez! He's coming in fast to the right! Ground pound one, and ground pound again. And... Re really really Ah oh, man Ah uh, Well that's the first prankster combat I failed. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Uh, you know I probably would have destroyed him there, but unfortunately Lady Luck was just not on my side. Just like it is in Mario Party game. I guess? Uh, where is he coming from? He... Coming from the left side! Coming from the left side is Major Burrow! He tried to attack! But cannot get there in time! Cannot escape! Already to the last phase! He digs under the hole again! Why am I doing commentary? He's coming from the left side again! Very serious attack, Mario! 
But will Mario fail for a second time? I think not! Before we have taken down Major Burrow once again! That fool! That fool has messed with the wrong guy! Totally! <laughs> Three Daredevil Comets down? Which means we are... We have... Our job finished at... Gusty Garden Galaxy for now. But now, I say it's time that we go and rescue our brother Luigi at Honey Hive, which, where he was last seen missing. Looks like a normal power star. Looks like he possesses a normal power star. It looks like we're gonna need our power up for this one. But where could Luigi be, though? Ah, uh, don't worry. We'll we'll find out in a moment. Ah, uh, but right now, uh, I'm gonna take out these flip bugs real quick. Seriously, who would have named their their enemy flip bug? That doesn't make any sense. Th that sounds kind of awful, apparently. <laughs> like you would give give flip bug a bad name. I mean, clearly it is bad. Come on, step on him, and you don't contain a vine. I am disappointed. Swing, uh, swinger, swing, wing. I'm probably going to the wrong side to do this. Let's try, uh... I do remember I need to not touch the water. Well, you be quiet. I'm not even talking to you. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, can I even reach up there? I cannot reach up there. I absolutely cannot reach up there. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose. Now, doesn't it? Uh, let's try some. I think I'm gonna try something. And if I... A actually, I better not try it. Um... Hang on, guy. Give me a second. I'm, I'm trying to like go through hard sinking. Uh, can I wall jump? I cannot wall jump. Oh, 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 oh! I have an idea. Me have an idea. And. Okay, well, I could have made it. Sorry, I'm just trying to, uh... Re remember how how I actually made it to the other side, and... Hey, hey, look at that! We actually made it! Uh, let's see. W let's see what's inside here. Oh, yeah, it's this. Um... That's not actually where I'm supposed to go. How did I, now, how did I make it to the other side? Uh, there wasn't a pipe down here, was there? Nope, there wasn't a pipe down there. My thoughts were right. Hmm. Maybe I am supposed to go this way. Well, maybe I am supposed to go this way. And... Oh, come on! Alright, I'll be right back. Apparently, I was too slow. 
How about we... No, 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 that's not, that's not the way, that is, what not the way, that's not the way, that's not the way. Uh, I feel like, part of me feel like I can make that jump, but then, then another part of me says no. That's the situation. Uh, hey, 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 it worked. Nice! Excellent! Alright. So... So, where I need to go is... Come on, come on! Step on that pl plant! Thank you! Uh... Is there really no way to get up there? How the frick do I not remember? This is... This is strange. Like, I remember doing this, but... I forgot how. Yeah. Well, I'll be more the merrier. Yeah. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go right here. I'm probably doing this a long. I'm probably doing this a long way. <laughs> I'm probably doing this the wrong way, but, but, but truth be, but truth be told, uh, uh, I'm gonna get rid of my power up. Also, we need to have a talk, Luigi. We seriously need to have a talk. Like, come on, Luigi. You mean to tell me you were scared by a flick, but that's afraid of you? You can't be embarrassed. First you get scared by an Octogoomba, or Akumba. Now you get scared by a flip bug. You have anything to say, Luigi? Oh, well, well, well. Oh, hey, Blue. I hit because of that big, scary... Because of that big, scary bug. It's not even that big! Are you kidding me? I found the power sauce. Let's go home. I'm safe for long life by those bugs! Yeah. Grab that power star and let's head back! <laughs> ah, ma oh, man. That's pitiful, Luigi. Come on, you're braver than- You are- You're literally just braver than that. Scared, scared because of a flip bug. That's not even that big, and you're like twice or five times as tall. All right. So anyway, phew, I am beat. Y'all defend the list of the power star. Well, g guess we're done with Luigi for now. Good riddance, Luigi. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, my mind was clearly not on set on that one. Just, just to, just to say, because honestly, Mario Galaxy probably gotta be my least uh, played game out of the 3D All Star. I'm just gonna say that much. But at long last, after taking about 10 minutes of that on that honey hive, we now approach Free Flame Galaxy. And a mission we're going to is called the Frozen Peak of Baron Burr. Burr, it's gonna be so cold there. The King of Ice is waiting. Ah, uh, all right. I say it's time to skate around. That peak would look familiar. Do you have something to say? Hey, old man. Are you practicing how to skate too? Well, why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? Of course I can catch you. Uh, how can one penguin move so fast? Uh, yeah, yeah, catching this guy is very easy. All you gotta do is just uh, chase him and catch him. 
That's basically all you gotta do. That's for that's the first thing done. Not bad, old man. With skating kills like that, you might have a chance. A small chance, maybe, but a chance. Oh, uh, I'll show you. I have I have a lot of good chance. Cause you're clearly underestimating the power of Mario. Because Mario has been on many adventure. Dolphino Plaza, Super Mario Sunshine, Bob on Battlefield. He went on a lot of ventures! And everybody knows that. <laughs> I mean, heck, everyone knows. And... Did you seriously get hit by a Goomba? That, that's the sad, Mario. Anyway. So... So, we're gonna have access to the ice, ice flower, flower again. And you know what? I think I'm gonna uh, take care of business. Uh, and if I can do this correctly. And speaking of which, there's actually a hidden star here. Uh, going this route. And this is the first time where we're gonna have the power of Fire Mario. You guys know what Fire Mario does. You chuck a fireball, it melts ice. It can also work on enemies, too. Also, we have some ice baths as well. Getting hit by those ice baths freezes you. So, you, you honestly do want to be, be careful of how you approach them. But you can still take them out with a uh, fire flower. And like, and like the ice power, um... Fire Mario is based on a time limit, in which you gotta be very fast and... and not get screwed by these, these ice bats, and... Uh, are, are you kidding me? You've gotta be kidding me. Those ice bats managed to stop me. Oh, speaking of ice bats... Did I hear that there used to be a hockey team called, called the Ice Bats? Because there were back in my uh, younger younger days, my younger years. I mean, I actually don't know what an Ice Bat is, but but basically there was a team called the Ice Bat, and this was like a hockey team. Uh, uh back in Texas. I uh, just gotta give you a little known fact. In fact, I actually did go to their uh, hockey game on point uh, twice, and 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 honestly, I just gotta say, I I, I love hockey. And oh, please don't screw me over, I bet. No, don't screw me over. No. Your presence is not welcome here! Not welcome here! But anyway, as I was saying, there used to be a hockey team called the Ice Bat, and... And... Anytime there was a chance, I would go uh, watch the... The Ice Bat play. Whether it's someone in Texas or someone elsewhere. And, and to me, that was pretty much an experience that I ENJOYED! Okay, seriously? Man, I am just getting hit a lot this... this episode. But, as long as there's coin there... Uh, that's good. That ice pack can't. That ice pack can't screw me anymore because the power star is right up top of the mountain. That star is mine. So already we took care of the hidden star. But that was why I decided to go for the hidden star instead of taking on the 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 boss uh, itself. 
Because it is indeed a boss that we're dealing with this episode. Anyway, I think I'm going to do at least two more missions and then probably call it an episode. Even if it's a prankster comet of some sort. And, and we're going to have to talk to this this penguin that calls us an old man when, when we don't even have silver hair. I mean... To be honest, in real life, I actually don't like, uh, the cold in general. In fact, being in the cold is probably, like, my least favorite place to be. Just to be exactly honest. Like, I understand that there's, like, snow, like, more on the north east side, and, like, it also happens in Oklahoma, too. And I've been in Oklahoma many times, and I've actually been on snow. I mean, I enjoy looking at the snow as a kid, but nowadays, you can just kind of understand the condition. The sticky situation you could be in when you have, like, ice problems, snow problems, and, you know, that stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably experienced the same thing as I did. Two, even. Alright. So now we're gonna go to the... actual place we're supposed to go. Also, I should also say, um, too, that, uh... The water... The waters are, uh... are frozen. And if you stay on that water long enough... If you don't have the ice power, then you're going to take damage. So be wary of that. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is don't stay in the water for too long. Because you take damage. Pretty much like, uh, Snowman's Land. And, uh, Super Mario 64. Which is, uh, the 10th core. Yeah, don't touch the water. Cause touching water is a bad. But here we are. We've made it. It is now time for us to space. Baron Burr, he is, he is the only boss for Free Flame Galaxy. Now this guy is very easy. All you wanna do is you wanna grab a Ice Mario Power and you wanna well, just get to him. You also do want to watch out for uh, the ground pound, too. Because that ground pound will actually blow you away. That if you're not careful. So, once he hits the ground, then, uh, basically what you want to do is, uh, unfreeze him and then Break him! Yeah, both of the bosses in Super Mario Galaxy is, are very easy, and I guess this is probably why I don't play uh, Super Mario Galaxy all that much out of all the other games that, uh... that I played for 3D All-Star. So anyway, that takes us to star number 52. And we're gonna keep going. And, oh, we have a Cosmic Comet. Been a while since we seen one of no those now, hasn't it? We haven't seen it since, uh, what? Honey Hive Galaxy, I believe? Yeah. But look like we're gonna be... Looks like we're gonna be skating on ice this time around. It's a race to the finish. And this one can actually be pretty difficult. Yes. <laughs> Why is it difficult? Well, ice physics, of course. Alright. Three, two, one, and go! Let's fly! Hmm. 
G give ourselves a head start. I and you know what? I don't need a one up to beat to beat you. Just it's gonna get as much advantage as possible. That's right. It's just gonna leave him in the dust. And hopefully not fall because this part I swear is tricky. And looks like we got it in the bag pretty pretty well. First try! Still haven't failed a single cosmic comet. Unfortunately we did fail one on uh the Daredevil comet, but that was just due to bad luck that I had. On that one. But anyways. So, I guess once again, that's two pranks to calm us down. And. And I think, with that. That is going to be it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So, once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this. And remember. If you enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Galaxy and you'd like to see the next episode, don't forget to punch that like button. Next time, we're going to be going back into Free Flame Galaxy to, to uncover the rest of the remaining missions that we have to do. And then we're going to be proceeding on to the next galaxy, which is Dusty Dune Galaxy. So I'll see you guys back here next time. So, once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friends. And take care. Goodbye, everybody. And stay safe. Chapter 2. Starbits. Days passed with no sight of the comet. Or even a single planet. Instead, Astro extended far as far as the eye could see. If I had known it, it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essential telescope, butterfly, nest, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But. I forgot to break water. At this. Luna burst into gales of laughter, and the girl begins to pout. As long as I have Starbit, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl can stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. Alright, maybe just a nibble. Learning, leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect Starbit with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The Starbit tasted like honey.